Hello, today John's going to show you how to divide agapanthus plants. Ours is called Indigo Dream. It's a beautiful deep indigo colour, very blue, very stunning. Welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. We're here to help you develop your gardening skills, whether it's growing vegetables, whether it's taking cuttings or pruning, and much, much more. So if you enjoy learning those things, do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button. There's no charge. And don't forget to uh, press that all-important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Okay, good morning, everybody. Today we're looking at dividing plants, simple division. Um, you can see here we've got a very uh, overgrown example of Agapanthus. It's been in that this pot here to it for quite a few years. It's now got to a stage where it's actually stopped flowering, so I think it really needs a bit of division to rejuvenate it and of course also to uh, increase your stock. And st division is a very important part of, of normal uh, border maintenance. Lots of your plants, once they get to a certain size, they are rejuvenated when we when we lift them um, and of course it also gives you the chance to improve the soil to put some compost back in and, and to keep them going. Um, this one's come out of a container it could equally well equally well have been dug up from the ground but it still gives us the same problem it is a very big plant with a lot of root on it and it's going to quite, take quite a job of breaking it up. If it's small, we can use two simple hand forks to do it, and you've probably all done that with, uh, with, with, with normal plants. This one, however, we're going to have to get a couple of forks into it uh, to, 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 to break it into two lots. Try and see if there's a place where you can find a, a, an area which will break. I mean, that would go through there quite nicely by the looks of it. That's where I'm going to put the fork in to start with, in there. In that side. Oh, it's very, very tough. Oh, still, you know, have to go, and then that one will go in as well. Wiggle them in, they will work their way in eventually, um, but we need to get them quite a long way down before we can start thinking about breaking it up. This is a very compacted plant, it really does need division, and we're going to have to get that down a lot more first of all. Okay so we've got the got the forks right in there as far as we can do and it's just a question of gently easing them apart. There they go look and you see we got, we're getting some root damage but not a tremendous amount and here we're going to have to brighten up a little bit. Pull that one out, put it in there so you get a bit better angle. That one out, that one in there and there they go. Work your way through and we've actually at least got into two lots, haven't we? There we are, two, two little plants for you, two, well, what, two decent sized plants to do. Now I'm going to pull that apart. That's still very, very large. It's far bigger than we want it. Um, if you were doing this commercially, you'd grow, try and break every one of these up. But I'm going to break this up again into another little clump down through there. There, that's a nice chunk. That can be simply put back in the ground and grown on. You've got, as you can see, there's quite a lot of root. It all looks good root. I don't think any point, any point to dig it off. Nice big hole, lots of um, compost where you put it in, and uh, off it goes. And that'll give you another lovely um, agapanthus for later on. Three shoots coming on there. Lots of fresh compost in there will help it get going. This one, uh, this one's still got a lot of shoots there. You could put that back, that would give you a nice big plant. It's really up to you. If you want to, uh, uh, to, to keep a nice healthy plant, a nice big plant which will flower quite quickly, put that in. If you want to get more plants which will, uh, which will uh, obviously give you far more if you were going to, so maybe you wanted to sell them or to give them to your friends, then you could break it down. At the end of the day, what you've got to do is think that for each, for, for all these divisions, you need to have a, uh, a, a, a shoot and a piece of root. And so you can just keep breaking down until you get to, to that stage. I've brought it up now onto a tray where it's easier to handle. Um, immediately, I mean, there's a piece here, for example, this is just pulling out, look at that, beautiful. So there you've got, um, you've got a couple of shoots, a bit of dead there, we'll take that away, a bit of weed out of the way. And there's a little plant, you pop that up 
there's a perfect little specimen which will grow. It's not going to flower this year, obviously, but a couple, you know, nice fertile soil. That'll soon come into flower, maybe in a couple of, in a year or two. Um, the rest of it, you can now start using smaller hand forks. Um, this is far more manageable, uh, but it's the same sort of principle. Back to back, in they go, and uh, pull, pull them apart like that. There we are, in we go, gently, gently, pulling them apart, um, and again. There we are. In this case, I already have um, There we are, it's a nice little plant. We've got a little bonus by the Labrador in there if you want it. Um, there's the nice roots, ready to go. Nice little plant, so that's two. You could actually break that into three if you want to, but I think I'll leave that as a nice decent sized plant. This looks a bit sort of more congested, this might be more fun, but we'll just see how we get on. From that one I've got what, three quite nice little plants, um, which I can now pot up and put back in the garden or give away to friends. Thank you for joining us in our Somerset garden. If you enjoyed that, do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button. And don't forget to uh, press that all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Thank you, until next time.